Hey guys, welcome back to an all-new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at a prototype 3D printer called the Kokoni 3D Printer. Now this here is designed to be an entry-level 3D printer uh, that's designed to be very easy and simple to use. Literally with a matter of clicks, you can go ahead and print something based on a picture. Now it's got its own AI built-in system based off of the app and should be quite easy to use and user-friendly. Now together we'll be unboxing it as well as trying it out and do note that this being a prototype, it's going to be a little bit different than the final production model so if you guys want to learn more about them check out the link down below the description and without further ado let's go ahead and get started this here's the packaging this here's a box kind of gives you a little bit of a blueprint of what it looks like here on the front and overall pretty simple design concept uh, let's see what's inside All right, so this here's everything that we get. Very simple design concept. So you have your 3D printer here. Definitely a really cool looking printer. Uh, so you do have a little tiny, looks like printing base right there. You got your extruder. Uh, and then you have your print cartridge, which is actually this product piece portion here in the back, uh, in which you just go ahead and you can release by simply unlocking it like this taking it out and then you can go ahead and swap it out based on the color that you're using. So we have an orange one, a green one that they also included, uh, but we also have this one here, yeah, white. And then uh, you just go ahead and put it back in here the same way by uh, placing it here, locking it down, and then turning the lock in. And that is it. Now we have your power button, your 12 volt input. Now we do have a QR code to download the app. And then we also get a user manual, as well as a pair of tweezers and our, looks like a power adapter. And that is it in terms of a nutshell, in terms of what it comes with. Let's go ahead and set this thing up next and see if we can go ahead and try it out. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on our uh, 3D printer by hitting this on button here on the back. Uh, and then from there, it'll do a quick little boot up process, just like that. All right, and then I'm gonna go and open up our Coconi 3D app. Now, this here is gonna be our main hub. So upon connection, you can actually see the status of our particular printer. So it'll show our filament, it'll show our maintenance, it'll show our firmware. Now, right now it's connecting to the Wi-Fi, which will then thereby connect to our phone, allowing us to go ahead and print remotely. Now, in terms of the main hub goes, so you have a few different things. You have create, you have guide, and then show some of the popular models that you can print. Now, if I click on explore more models, I can see a variety of different pre-default uh, models that I can print. Now, these here are friendly for the Coconi uh, 3D printer. In which there's actually a good a variety. So you have a variation of different ones that you can print. As you kind of scroll through here, you can see there's a lot of different kinds. And it's actually pretty cool in what they include. Now, you're not just limited to these. You can actually go and upload your very own by uh, going through the app and the website where you can upload the model to here. Now, under create, uh, you can essentially create a 3D avatar of yourself. Now, 3D avatar modeling is quite interesting. The way this works is simple in terms of being able to take a picture of yourself. Uh, you can actually go here and click photo. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna essentially scan my face and create a 3D model, which we can print. So that's actually pretty cool technology. Now, you also have your uh, recommendations. Uh, so these here are kind of the models that we kind of see in, in the pre-default, so you can just kind of scroll through those. Uh, and they have a variety of different categories, from toys to constructions to different things that you're looking at. So you can go to import models and you can go here to the website and then you enter your model, you can log in, and then you can upload your own model based off of G-code or STL, and then you can print that based off your own personal needs. So it's actually kind of nice in how they set that up. It's very easy and user-friendly. Now, object modeling allows you to go and essentially uh, scan models and create a 3D model based off of an image that you're using. So based on these pictures here, you can then thereby uh, essentially create a 3D model that you can print. Uh, and it's actually kind of interesting design concept. Again, that's more of a beta version, but yes, really, really cool stuff. Now, in terms of previous models, this will show exactly what models you printed previously, which we don't have any, and pretty easy standard stuff. Now, guide will give you an idea in terms of user manual goes and how to go ahead and use your particular 3D printer in terms of print models, modeling, and how to go ahead and take out the model and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and pick a model here to print out. All right, let's try this hot sports car. 
So this one is a default model by Coconi. Uh, and then it'll show how long it'll take. So this may be a longer print time. So longer print times are about two hours or more. So you can see a 3D aspect of the model. So I can rotate it around and you can actually see how it kind of prints. Now, this is designed to print in a way where the wheels will rotate. So that's kind of interesting, right? So uh, I'll click on scale. I can adjust the scale of this particular product. I can uh, make it taller, I can make it wider. I can do a variety of different things based on my own personal needs. Uh, obviously, it's kind of up to you in terms of that quality. Now, you also have your quality mode, so you can do a higher resolution versus a lower resolution. But obviously, the more higher you do, the longer the print time will be. So it's actually kind of cool in how they designed that. Uh, now, with that said, I think let's just go ahead and stick to the default to size. Uh, and we'll go and print this model and see how this plays out. So let's go ahead and fast forward and see what that looks like. So this here is our final product. Uh, and you actually see it looks really cool. It's actually got a lot of nice details to it. I like that. And the fact that the wheels spin is even better. I mean, the fact that you can use this as a real, like essentially like a Hot Wheel, is actually pretty cool. Now you can go ahead and paint it. You can obviously choose the color that you want and you can go ahead and customize it. Now, other than that, it's actually pretty interesting. I mean, it does have a little bit of a sticky edge right over there, but you can use the tool to kind of open that up a little bit. Obviously, this is your, it involves movement, but I have to say the overall print quality of it is very, very nice, and I love the fact that it's user-friendly. So let's go ahead and see what else we can print. All right, so this is what we came up with. So we have a few different things that we printed. So we have this very lovely looking model here. So this is essentially like a head sculpture. And you can see the amount of details on this is actually really, really good. Uh, you have essentially a castle right over here. So this is kind of unique too. So you can use this as like an ornament uh, or something of that nature. Uh, you have this little character. So this is a, a red color that we used. Uh, and then you have this like dinosaur, like polygon kind of figure. Uh, there's actually a lot of depth and a lot of uh, interesting uh, build process with that. And then here's another variation of that particular polygon creature. Uh, this one here kind of broke on us, but you can see what it is. It's actually a shark. Uh, so originally it was like this where you can go ahead and have a flex. Look at that. So it's kind of cool on how it kind of prints it like that. So it creates almost like a bone like structure. Uh, and again, it actually worked quite well. But uh, yeah, this is kind of a little fragile, so just keep that in mind. Uh, in terms of other kind of unique at, uh, projects, so this one here is a folding chair. Yes, that is right. It is a folding chair that actually folds like that, and then you can go and open it up, and you can display it like an actual chair. <laughs> so that is actually pretty wicked. Uh, we have ourselves a little trophy that says number one dad, so this is kind of cool too. Uh, I made another car, so this one here actually has rotational wheels. Uh, and then over here we have another character, and then also another character. So overall, a lot of fun and definitely very, very unique. And overall, a user-friendly printer. I mean, I really recommend it, especially if you're looking for something that's easy to use. And the fact that this thing can connect in a matter of seconds and start printing without any problem is actually overall really cool. And yes, there you are. Now, overall, definitely something I would recommend. I like the app interface is really user-friendly. And the fact that this is nice and compact size, you can use this for a lot of small projects. Now, with that said, if you had any questions about it, comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.